4th of July, 1992. We're over here at Tommy's house, Tommy's backyard. We're up to the snack portion. Tommy, we all ate. Right now, we don't have anything set up. All right, <laughs> we'll try that later on. Go ahead, now wait, I'll follow you through. Now we go down back to the uh, seating area. Okay, tell us something about your uh, artwork here. Well, this I started back in February with March 10 by 6, and the scene I saw a picture, then I changed it, and I hope to get it done by September uh, for another art show. It looks done to me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's far from done. A lot, of, a lot more detail over here and here. I have a cavalry uh, division over here. Now here we have. Indian village down in here. And a bear coming out of the woods right over here. <laughs> <laughs> and this one I haven't finished yet. It's, uh, it's called the uh, Young, Young Hawk's First Hunting Party. Well, who's, who's that one in the middle? This one here is from Vietnam. Um, Vietnamese kid uh, laughing because I was making a funny face. I sketched the uh, picture and took that one up there. It's also taken from three kids sitting by the roadside of Vietnam and I changed it to uh, Indian village. Uh, this one here is uh, a kid I photographed in Vietnam putting a picture in his pocket. He was turning at the same time, so I said, that'd be good to put the rabbits in his in his hands and a knife, pulling out a knife, having a wolf come up here, but that's not that complicated. So I figured three wolves, two rabbits, would make it more complicated with the horse rearing up and leaving, leaving the viewer to wonder what's going to happen next. Yeah. That was for what's, what's this one over here? It's just, uh, it's called Going Home. And it's the back end of a horse. <laughs> <laughs> a horse as you know what. Yeah. And uh, coming around the bend in the road, maybe the home's on the other side of the bend, or maybe it's farther down the road. Nobody knows. Nope. Yeah. Again, okay, this is a, a scene I saw in a book with a uh, mountain here that was all, all trees. So I decided to make it different. I, there was regular trees, so I made it fir trees. 
made some rocks and I put the four deer looking around and I might have a bear coming out of the cave over here. I haven't decided on that yet. It's called Lost Doe. Four Lost, lost Doe. Okay. What do we got up just above that? And this is uh, a deer I got from Beer Shots, uh, Alfred Beer Shots paintings about the waterfalls and the Rockies. Uh, this has to be redone a little bit more, but basically this is the way it's going to look. With the deer and the nose. There's a little baby one. And a little baby one over here. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can get in on that little toe over there. There we go. Is this one? Was one I was going to show in New York in our in our uh, in World Trade Center Center galleries. Unfortunately, when I did uh, bring it in there, up there in the middle part, you can't see it too well. There's a hole full of hammers. So over a weekend, I had to get a new a new picture made of the same title because all the printing was made. So I had to get the same title and the same type of picture made of two fruit and uh, uh, in that color colored tone. So for the weekend, I hurried home and I painted this one over here. Uh, orange skins, I added water to the painting and it came out much more effective. Though I didn't sell it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's the grand tour. <laughs> That's the grand tour, which brings us back to where we started. <laughs> With the giant 10 foot by 6 foot. Which is, um, can be taken apart, rolled up, and transported out. Got some very nice artwork here. Thank you. Another sketch I did from a picture in a magazine. And this here is Custer right below him. In the front, Mr. Uh, did that back in 1990. That's also from a magazine. This is Sitting Bull. I changed the costume and the two feathers were coming towards the top of the head. I changed it to the side of the head and redid the background. And who's downstairs? And this is uh, Chief, Chief Joseph. From a sketch in the book, of course, I didn't know him personally. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> and this picture is a, uh, a scene maybe on the west coast of uh, a still approaching storm on the sunset, maybe about twilight time. And uh, I haven't heard the artist's name yet. Well, it's hard to pronounce. It's Pospisil. Pospisil. Thomas being first name. Thomas Pospisil. Yeah. And, and if you want any of these paintings, they're available at 2914 200 Street. And the telephone <laughs> number is? 352-5158. Area code 718. Correct. Dollars. Cheap at any price. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of other paintings available. Yes. Please call. <laughs> and this is Renee's picture of Captain Crunch, but she drew herself eating his bowl of Captain Crunch cereal. Yeah, next to me. Here you go. Yes.